So in this video, I'm going to show you a Shopify dropshipping store that actually dropshipped from AliExpress and made over $2 million. What's really interesting about this particular store as well, um, one of two things. So number one, it's a general store, so it sells lots of different products from lots of different niches. And number two is, is a Dutch dropshipping store as well. Now, the reason why this is so interesting is because loads of people, pretty much the majority of people, whenever they think dropshipping and Shopify, they immediately think America, they immediately think the US, and that's where you should sell because that's where the biggest market is and there's loads of people over there. But if you watch one of my recent videos where I cover how competitive dropshipping actually is, dropshipping overall is not very competitive depending on where you do it. If you do it in America to America, then yes, it's very competitive. Oberlo released their statistics, their figures for how many of their orders, obviously they're all dropshipping orders, and for what countries they're actually fulfilled to. And the size of America, i.e. the amount of orders that go to America, is bigger than the rest of the world combined. The UK in comparison is something like 5% of the size of the amount of orders that actually go to the US. So, so if there's one thing that hopefully you can take away from this video is don't always just think US, test lots of different countries, see where you get the best information and kind of data back from when running your Facebook ads, and then you can rebuild and redesign your store around that particular country. One quick note then before we jump into this video is I just want to say or stress the importance of looking at successful Shopify stores on a weekly basis. I'm going to try and bring videos like this every single week to YouTube so we can do it at the same time together. But behind the scenes, in my own time, I'm always trying to find successful Shopify stores, look at what types of products they're selling, look at the design of the stores, the little kind of design touches, how often are they posting content, what kind of theme they're using for their content. And the more you look at people who are doing well, the more it's going to rub off on you and your business. So definitely something to include in the time that you spend on your business should be looking at other successful dropshipping stores. With that being said, let's jump straight into the video. So the Shopify store in this video I want to show you is is shopbrands.nl. Um, so as I mentioned in the introduction, it's a Dutch store. Um, they're asking 30K for this particular store. And if the average profit truly is only, not only, if the average profit is 11K, the 30K is a steal for this particular store. Um, I've read through the information, the business story. By the sounds of it, this guy wants rid of it quick. So I don't know who's watching this video, but perhaps if you're looking for something that's ready to go, um, then definitely something to check out. Let's have a look at the numbers then. If we scroll about halfway down, um, if you're not familiar with the exchange marketplace, it's basically where people come to sell their stores. All the numbers are imported directly from Shopify. So as it says here, they can't be edited. It's all legit. What's really good too is it gives you like a breakdown per month of where their sales came from. We can see they had a spike here. Um, in Q4 2019. If you haven't watched my previous video on why now is such a good time to start a business, um, then definitely go and check that one out. If you've sat watching this video and you wanna get started, then definitely take inspiration from these guys and just get started building your store today. So two and a half dollars just under in total revenue. Um, there's some details here I wanna point out. So they are drop shipping from AliExpress. Those total sales are from AliExpress plus around 15K, he says, which is from a company called Admitad. Now, to be honest with you, I've been drop shipping for um, since 2016, so about five years, and I didn't, I wasn't aware of these people, basically, but what it pretty much looks like is that you can set up an affiliate account with these guys, use your own link, and then any orders you process through AliExpress, which is perfect, obviously, if you're drop shipping from AliExpress, you'll then get a kickback from. We can see it's trusted by advertisers, and AliExpress and Alibaba are on there. So I'm going to be checking this out myself, and if it proves to be as good as what this guy is saying, um, then I'm, I'll release a video shortly on how you can set it up, integrate it into your own business, and essentially earn cash back on all of the purchases in which you're going to be making anyway through your business. If we take a look at the images um, up here, something I want to show you is this one here. So this guy is running Facebook ads. Um, I tried to find the actual products he's advertising, but unfortunately it looks as if he's unpublished the Facebook page, which basically means we can't find it and we can't see the ads he was running. Um, somewhere in here too, he says here, so we quit selling with this store completely from July 1st. So I believe this is when he shut down all of his ads, shut down his Facebook page. Um, and for those reasons, unfortunately, I couldn't find the actual ads 
um, in which he was running, but we can still learn quite a lot from this particular store. So if we take a look at the Shopify store, we can see it's a really nice looking theme. I believe this is the Venture theme. I'm a really big fan of the Venture theme. If I just open up my Koala Inspector, we can see it is the Venture theme. The other thing that really annoys me about this guy is well, you can tell what he's doing because if I go on bestsellers, he's got his bestsellers hidden. So unfortunately, we can't see those. But what we can take away from this is the design and setup um, of his actual website and the product pages as well. The product pages are super important. How you lay out and set up your product pages can make the difference between failure and success. So we're gonna be taking a look at those in this video too. Before we jump into them though, I just wanna point out how often he's actually featuring people on his website. So real people featuring clothing with the brand's name on. Now he's not actually selling these clothing. As you can see, it's only in kind of like the customer service touches. So strengthen our team, we can go to his team page and they've got actual people with the brand on t-shirts on their contact us page too. We can see this lady here, um, a hoodie with the t-shirt on. We can see this girl here too um, on the view deals page. What this really does is it instills confidence and trust in your customers because you come across as a real business that has a real team of people behind which instills that trust, which instantly kind of puts to bed any worries or issues that your customers might be having before making a purchase. Now you might be thinking how expensive is this to do? It's about 15 pounds um, for the first month. So I'm just gonna take you through a very quick tutorial now using Placeit, an absolutely brilliant tool. They don't just do mock-ups with clothing, they do logos and all kinds of different designs as well. So they do things like gaming, you can put your logos onto Macs or different kinds of screenshots onto Macs. But for this tutorial then, let's go to apparel. Um, and we're just gonna create something very quick, very simple, similar to what this guy has on his website. So, once somebody smiling, of course, um, somebody in, some, a woman, sorry, as we saw on his website, so this woman will be perfect here. We can click on this once this loads up. It really is as simple as uploading your logo, choosing the position you want your logo, download the image, um, and then you can put it on your website and integrate that as kind of like a way, like I mentioned, um, of building credibility. So recently uploaded, I think I've got the Shopify logo I have. I'm gonna put it near the top so we can see it quite clearly on her t-shirt. If we hit crop, and now all of a sudden, it looks like this person works for Shopify. Um, and of course, Shopify is a real business, but if this was your business logo, then immediately it looks like a real person, part of your team. Um, and again, it just instills that trust with your customer. If we go back to the website, something else to point out too is these cards here. Now you might be thinking they're quite basic, they're just cards, but they, they, they pretty much are, but they're super effective at kind of separating you from everybody else who's drop shipping. So, the more and more I see kind of people come into the dropshipping space and spend time within a dropshipping space and looking at different Shopify stores, um, it's apparent that the same question kind of keeps popping up and that is that if your store just looks the same as everybody else's and you're using the same theme and kind of the same-ish colors and same-ish products, and you can recognize it instantly as a very typical dropshipping store, then won't customers also see that and that put them off? And the answer to that is pretty much yes. Um, I mean, as a, as a dropshipper, you're obviously gonna recognize it much more quickly. It's already started happening with customers browsing through Facebook, clicking on links, going to websites, they're all looking very similar. And if they have a bad experience, they're just gonna see you as kind of like another pop-up, untrustworthy, untrustworthy, not very legitimate business. So having little things like this will separate yourself from all of those other bog standard and basic kind of stereotypical pop-up Shopify stores. Another thing that will really help too to legitimize your business and get your customers to trust you, I can't stress this enough, one of the biggest obstacles you have as a new business owner and getting people to buy your product. You could have a really nice store, really nice product, really nice ad campaign and content, etc. But if your customers don't trust you, they won't become customers, they'll just become visitors. So you need to focus on trust and building a trustworthy store. Another way to do this is to have, as you can see that what these guys have, they have a head office address, they have a proper email address, they have a phone number, and then they have the company information as well. So the average consumer scrolling through this website wanting to check that where they spend their money is going to be safe would have no issues with this particular website. There's real people, even though they're not real people, they're just models, but the average person isn't gonna know that. They're not gonna be aware of certain tools like Placeit, but that doesn't matter because all that does matter is that they trust your website, they wanna buy your product, and if they they trust you then they will so this is their gadgets collection page 
Um, if we're just flicking through these products now, everybody's seen this product, this product, this product. All of these products are super popular and common products, but it just goes to show, it doesn't matter as long as you do it at the right time in the correct way, i.e. have really good content to sell the products, you've got a really, you've got a really good website like these guys, then you can still be successful. So these are all the different pet products these guys are selling. And we can see, again, all the stereotypical products. There's a few putting pets on AliExpress. You're gonna see probably um, nine out of 10 of these products on the very first page. So we can see that even if you're selling really popular products, it doesn't necessarily matter as long as you sell them to the right place and you have a really good strategy behind them. So a lot of these products, especially this bed, has been sold to death very extensively to the US and to the UK to some degree as well. But we can see selling this product um, to the Netherlands and I believe Belgium is a big um, Dutch speaker too because it's still a new product for those countries that have been able to find success. So you could potentially take products, not necessarily this one, but something similar that you know is proven to work in America, in the UK, and perhaps take it to Australia or take it to Spain or France or some other country that people don't necessarily go straight to when they think drop shipping. A great way to double check how popular your product is in a particular country, um, especially on Facebook, so you can come onto the Facebook ad library, you can search for dog bed and you'll just see endless ads um, about dog beds and different kind of dog gadgets and dog toys. But this is currently set to all at the top. So we can change this to different countries. So if for example, we did wanna take this bed to a different country, we wanted to kind of get a rough idea of how competitive it was in say France, what we could do is we could come up here, we could put France into here. We obviously want all ads and search for dog bed. And then we can see how many people are actually running ads for that specific dog bed and targeting people in France. With that being said then guys, I'm gonna wrap the video up there. Really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do me the favor of hitting that like button. Please make sure you subscribe as well if you wanna see more of my content. And one final thing then before you go, I'm releasing a new course on October 1st. Um, I wanted to release the course this time, but make it affordable for everyone. So the cost will be less than the average phone contract each month. There'll be no tie-ins, you can cancel whenever you want. Um, so if that's something that interests you, make sure you check out the first link in the description below. Lots of information there to a launch page. Um, and if you join the waiting list, you will get a 20% discount on the launch price as well. So that's coming October 1st. Uh, make sure you check it out. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.